So non-duality, this is, this is a big and important subject. Non-duality, the awakening to non-duality, the experiential recognition of non-duality is the door to enlightenment, is the door to profound spiritual metamorphosis. And non-duality is a difficult thing to understand because it's mysterious and different realizers understand the meaning of non-duality in different ways. So I'm gonna, I'll try to speak about it from a few different ways in the short time we have together. The simplest way to start is that non-duality means oneness. In Vedanta, they say that the ultimate truth by the nature of reality is that there's only one and not two. But they're speaking about a metaphysical realization. It's a metaphysical insight. It's a, we could call it a metacognition, a meta-revelation. It's because it's the all-important leap from the experience of what's called relative reality to that which is considered to be absolutely, absolute reality or absolutely real. So the conscious experience of that which is relatively real is very different than the conscious experience of that which is absolutely real. And so the, the cognition and revelation of absolute reality is a huge shift in consciousness and perception and cognition. And specifically, it is the mysterious emergence of the recognition, of a transrational recognition and direct gnosis that everything is a singularity. But it's a metaphysical singularity, it's not a material singularity. There's, there's, a, there's a mysterious, spontaneous understanding that everything that exists is part of everything else that exists, which includes everything, everything that doesn't exist, the manifest and the unmanifest, are all one indivisible whole. And there is something about this, the conscious recognition of this absolute singularity, which is not to, that is utterly and profoundly liberating the level of the soul. It, it, it yields in every, every single instance that this, that this one has this kind of revelation, a profound existential release and relief. Suddenly, suddenly it's okay. Suddenly everything is okay. When we went before, when before we had this realization of so many things were not okay. And it is, it is literally the experience of being liberated into, liberated into heaven. <laughs> because that, that's when we realize that all of reality itself is made up of this mysterious oneness that everything is and all of our fears and all of our doubts including attachment to this body all disappear and we realize in some way that's impossible to describe in words that we have always been alive and have never been dead and that we'll never be able to understand everything but that in some mysterious way we know everything <clears throat> the, in the traditional Eastern Dharma, which is what my background is all about, there, there's, there's the distinction between what's called the ground of reality, what the great Eckhart Tolle calls the ground of being, what Buddhists often refer to as emptiness or voidness or the ultimate nothingness that everything that exists is made up of. Ultimately, the ultimate essence of everything. There's nothing, there's no, there's no nothing whatsoever, voidness, emptiness. But this emptiness, or this voidness, is pregnant, pregnant with everything that does exist and everything that can exist and everything that will exist. So it's an, it's an emptiness that is pregnant with potential. And it's a mysterious paradox that this emptiness in, in which no thing exists is bursting is pregnant with unimaginable infinite potential that, ex that when we experience it, it feels and seems like it's completely unlimited in what it can be. So, so there's something about this, the, the, the feeling quality of this kind of insight that is utterly and completely enthralling. So the Buddha's initial realization was that when the mind was transcended, time was transcended. When we transcend the mind, we transcend time, and time disappears. Our awareness of the body disappears. And when the time disappears, the mind disappears. 
when the body disappears, our awareness of the world disappears. When everything disappears, we mysteriously find out that we're still here. And that is what enlightenment is all about. So the Buddha called this, this, this awakening, this realization of that which exists prior to time, space, and all form and mind, the deathless, the uncreated, and the unborn. And he referred to the realization of the deathless, the uncreated, and the unborn as nirvana. And in, in, his, and in his traditional teaching, he said that this is the, this is the font of liberation, the awakening to this nirvanic realm that exists beyond time and beyond the world. But then there was a further development in, in, in the evolution of the Buddha Dharma. And in this further evolution, there was the discovery of the fact that form is emptiness and emptiness is form. That the ultimate nature of all created things is emptiness. Form is emptiness and emptiness is form. And this was considered to be an ultimate perspective and an ultimate realization for a very long time until very recently in history when there was the discovery of the fact of evolution that we're part and parcel of an evolutionary process. The entire universe is part and parcel of a creative process that's going somewhere and, and is in a profound state of becoming. So the great Ken Wilber puts this very beautifully when he says form is empty, yes, form is emptiness and emptiness is form, but the world of form is evolving, so the world of form is going somewhere. And so in our understanding and appreciation of non-duality, the most mind-blowing recognition is that the, the, the ultimate reality itself, which includes everything that exists and everything that doesn't exist, all manifest and unmanifest realities included, is on a journey of becoming. And the, and the most absolutely mind-blowing part of this recognition, from my point of view, is the fact that, that our presence here in this universe and our participation in it plays a big role, plays a significant role in the becoming of the entire journey. So this one without a second is an evolving one. It's in a state of becoming in our own growth and higher development and the evolution of our own consciousness, including our own seeking for liberation and enlightenment is part and parcel of the universe's own journey of becoming. And that is the most profound, profound expression and understanding of non-duality that I know about. Thank you.